everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated June releases and I'm going to be doing one of these every month because the next couple of months there's a lot of books coming out that I am excited for and uh, I just want to just maybe put them on your radar as well if you haven't heard of these. A lot of these I haven't heard of, you know, people talking about a lot. So I'm excited for some of these. Um, for June I have a lot. I think I have like 12 or 13 for June. I know it's going to be a lot. Um, and I don't intend on getting them like right away because I just don't have the money, but I definitely want to read these eventually. They're definitely going to be on my TBR. So the first couple books that I have are LGBT and it's Pride Month. So that's probably why they're being released this month. And I'm excited about these because I really like reading LGBT books. Um, they're something that we need. And these all sound really cute. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. So the first one I have is Social Intercourse by Greg Howard. This comes out June 5th, which when you're watching this, it'll already been passed. And this book is about two gay teens living in South Carolina. One is your average nerd and one is like the star quarterback. Um, and the star, star quarterback is not out yet or anything because, you know, it's the Bible Belt. Like, it's kind of hard um, to be out in the South, unfortunately. So their parents, uh, their mom and dad, start dating. So it's called, like, Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda meets the Parent Trap. And so they're trying to break their parents up at rainbow prom the the town's first ever rainbow prom which sounds super fun uh i wish like i would go to a rainbow prom it sounds delightful and so they're just trying to break their parents up but on the way it sounds like they there's kind of a romance between them and it just sounds really cute heartwarming and it, i'm excited about it. it just sounds adorable uh, the next book I want to talk about, I am so excited for, so excited for, because it's about pirates. So this book is The Unbinding of Mary Reed, and it comes out on June 19th. And this book is about lesbian pirates. And that sounds amazing. It's about, uh, it's like a, based on a true story, um, of a girl who disguises herself as a boy to sail with some pirates. And uh, the pirates are Anne Bonny and Calico Jack. And the girl falls in love with Anne Bonny. And it just, just that right there just sounds cute. I love, I love pirate books. Like, I love anything about pirates. And, like, LGBT pirates are, like, amazing. So that one sounds really cute. I'm really excited about that. The next LGBT book is Running With Lions by Julian Winters, and this is like a sports-centric book, uh, and it comes out uh, June 7th, so it already came out as well. So it's about the star goalie for this high school, and his like old best friend returns to town and uh, goes to the training camp for the soccer team. And just old feelings kind of come come up and and it just it sounds nice it sounds cute I'm not a huge fan about like sports things but um, it's just it you know it sounds good I don't know if I have any more LGBT books like I don't have them I just know those three for sure but we'll get we'll get to the rest of them. Let's. Uh, the next one is Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay. This comes out June twenty sixth, and this is like a mystery thriller horror kind of thing. It kind of sounds like Cabin the movie Cabin in the Woods, where there's like this apocalypse happening, and like it just kind of has that kind of feel. Like something bad has to happen in order to save the world. Um, and if you know, if you've seen that movie, you know what I'm talking about. So it's about this girl, the seven-year-old girl, Wen, and her two dads. They're in the cabin in the woods. <coughs> <coughs> and, uh, 
and a man shows up while she's outside and tells her that none of the things that are going to happen are her fault. And he, as well as several other men, come with menacing objects, presumably to kill people. And she runs inside to warn her dads, and the man tells her that this has to happen to save the world. So, I don't know. It just sounds really interesting, and I'm excited about this. I really love the movie Cabin, at the, Cabin in the Woods, so if something's kind of like that, I feel like I'm going to like it. The next book is called The Summer of Us by Cecilia Vines, and this comes out June 14th and this is a young adult contemporary and it's about these these five friends going to like an around the world trip before they graduate or after they graduate I guess um, but it's just complicated because it sounds like the one girl might be a lesbian that's crushing on her friend and there's this other girl who has a boyfriend and she kisses somebody else so it just sounds like a drama on a like crazy you know trip and it just sounds cute I'm gonna give it a shot I like travel books um, and so I thought I'd just try that one out the next one is also like a travel book it's called your destination is on the left by Lauren Spieler this comes out June 26th and this is about a girl who's like a modern day nomad. She and her family live in an RV and go around with a caravan of RVs around the country. And it sounds like she has graduated college, but she hasn't been accepted to any university, like anywhere. And she, you know, wants to be an artist and all this stuff. And she, but she just hasn't been accepted anywhere. But then she gets an internship with a local artist and then something happens with her family so I don't know it sounds interesting I think that's kind of cool that to, to like grow up and live like in an RV caravan like you know I think that sounds fun um, it says will she say goodbye to her nomadic lifestyle and the boy she loves or will she choose to never stop moving so that one sounds really cute so that one sounded uh, like a fun summary read the next book I have is Dive Smack by Demetra Brodsky, and this comes out June 19th, and this is a young adult, like, mystery thriller, I believe, and it's about this boy, Mackie, who his home has been destroyed in a fire, and apparently he lit the match that, that set his whole house on fire. The fire killed his mom and his dad is now down spiraling and he he feels like he doesn't really remember what happened the night of the fire that caused him to set the fire so it's about him like kind of getting his memories back and figuring out what really happened and you know it sounds good that one sounds interesting the next one is Sweet Black Waves by Christina Perez and this comes out June 5th which has already passed and this is a Tristan and his old like retelling uh, not like retelling it's still kind of set in the same period um, but that's pretty much what it is um, but it's not it's not Tristan and his old it's inspired by Tristan and his old so it's gonna be like the same thing she she saves the life of like her enemy and you know the whole Tristan and his old thing so which I love I love that has has oh and it's also the first in a new fantasy trilogy so it is a fantasy I thought it was just kind of like historical but it is a fantasy the next book is bring me back by B.A. Paris and this comes out June 19th this is a mystery thriller uh, adult mystery thriller and this is about a British couple who are driving through uh, France they stop for gas and the uh, woman 
disappears. The man goes inside to pay and the woman disappears. And then it takes place like 10 years later. He's with her sister now. And these things keep being brought up about his ex-girlfriend that disappeared. And he's like trying to figure out what happened. The next book is actually a book of like comics. And I don't know if you've seen these on like Facebook or Instagram, but it's a uh, this like company creator called Katana Comics and they have just little comics about like their relationship and I just love those because they remind me so much of me and my fiance and so it's like a little book of uh, these comics and it's called Little Moments of Love by Pekana, Katana Chetwind and it comes out June 19th and I just want it because I just love those little comics that they release I think they're adorable. The next book is The Opposite of Here by Tara Aldebrando, and this comes out June 5th, so it's already out. This is a mystery thriller young adult, and it is about this girl and her friend and her best friends are on a cruise ship. So she meets this boy, and they have a conversation. They seem to like each other. She goes to get her swimsuit so they can go to the pool. When she comes back, he's gone. And she thinks that maybe he might have jumped because of, jumped overboard because of something that he kind of said to her. And so she is trying to figure out, like, who is he and what happened to him. But, and then they, um, she thinks that her friends are hiding something from her. Then the captain acts, like, does an urgent head count. And it just sounds really interesting. Uh, I just like, I like mystery thrillers and I want to read like a lot more and I want to try some more like young adult because a lot of times those just aren't great. So I'm hoping to find a great one. Um, the next one is The Word is Murder by Anthony Horowitz. And if you don't know, he's the one that does the middle grade series Alex Ryder, which I remember when I was younger, I really liked. So I haven't read anything else by him since I was like 10, 11. I don't, I don't even know when I read those. But this comes out June 5th, so this is already out. This is a um, adult mystery thriller, crime, that kind of thing. So this woman is strangled. This woman is strangled six hours after she planned her own funeral, which is very strange. Uh, and so this private detective like kind of goes to see like what the heck happened? Like, did she arrange the murder? Like, how did she know she needed a funeral? And it just sounds really, really weird and confusing. So I think that one sounds pretty cool. Uh, the next book is The Mermaid by Christina Henry. And this comes out June 19th. It's, it's actually a historical adult uh, fantasy. So it's about this mermaid that gets put into P.T. Barnum's like museum as the Fiji mermaid, as the real Fiji mermaid. And uh, I'm just excited about it because I love his like history. Um, I'm really interested in like the Barnum circus and everything now after seeing The Greatest Showman. And I like mermaids, so it sounds cool. The next book is actually like a short story collection and it's called A Thousand Beginnings and Endings by a bunch of different authors. Most of them I have not heard of and it's just uh, uh, reimaginings of uh, East and South Asia like mythology and folklore and that sounds really cool. I'm really interested in learning more about like Asian mythology and stuff. It's really interesting to me. The next book is The Bird and the Blade by Megan Bannon. This comes out June 5th, so it's already out. And this is a young adult fantasy historical fiction. And this takes place like during like the Mongol Empire. So it's about this girl that, okay, it's about this slave who she, fi she finds herself an unlikely like conspirator in the prince and they escape um, uh, over the Mongol Empire and it just sounds like really interesting like I'm not 
super into like that kind of history, I guess. Um, I'm more into like the folklore and mythology of it, like in the last book. But this sounds really interesting. That one sounds really cool. I'm excited. I'm really excited. So the next book is Save the Date by Morgan Matson. Now, I have not read any Morgan Matson books. I do have The Unexpected Everything. I haven't read it yet. Um, but this one is about a wedding. And it takes place, like, during, like, three days of the wedding, like, getting ready for it and stuff. And it's about this girl. Her sister is the one getting married. And all these, like, shenanigans happen and um, terrible things that kind of ruin the wedding. And it comes out... I think it's already out. Yeah, it comes... It came out June 5th. And... It just sounds really cute and I'm really into wedding stuff lately because if you don't know I'm planning a wedding um, my wedding and so I've been like really into weddings like anything wedding like movies like books I haven't found like a lot of books that really like focus on weddings and like that kind of thing so if you have any suggestions about books and that kind of like take place around a wedding or something let me know because I've been all into that lately so I'm really excited about this this is probably like the one I'm gonna buy like soon like this week probably okay only a couple more books so the next book is Before the Storm by Christy Golden this is a Warcraft a World of Warcraft book it takes place right before the new expansion which is Battle for Azeroth and that comes out the game comes out in August this comes out June 12th, and my fiance and I are both very excited for this book because it kind of explains what happens before the game because we know that now the Horde and the Alliance are like battling for some reason when in the last expansion they were helping each other defeat the Legion. And so yeah, so that's, that's really about what it's about. And uh, my fiance is going to read it before I do because he's he's more excited about it than I am. I mean, I'm excited about it, but he's like the Warcraft person. The last book I'm really excited for is My Plain Jane by the Lady Janies, which is Cynthia Han, Jody Meadows, and Brody Ashton. And this is a Jane Eyre retelling, but with um, Ghostbusters, I guess we can say. I think it's, it still takes place in that age, that Victorian age, I think it was, gothic, you know, horror, and, um, but there's, like, actual ghosts involved. So, I'm excited about this. I know I'm getting this in a subscription box, and I'm really excited about it. Now, I haven't read the first one, which I don't remember what that one was called. My Lady Jane or something. I don't know. I didn't read that one. That one sounded really weird because there's shape shifting. I don't know. But this one sounds really cool. I like ghosts. I'm excited for this. So those are most of the ones. I had a couple on here that um, it was just getting too long. So uh, if you want to check out like all of them, my Goodreads account is at the bottom in the description and you can go look at the um, my shelves. I have June, July, and August releases right now if you want to go look at those or any of my reviews. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching. Let me know what books you're excited about this month uh, in case I missed any and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!